Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce. In this video, I will walk you through the AP Game Tools add-on for Blender. AP Game Tools helps you optimize and export objects to game engines like Unity and Unreal. Check the description below on where to buy it and how to install. You should have it installed before watching this video. The export tools are game engine specific, so make sure to watch the AP Game Tools Unity and Unreal Pipeline videos to make sure you export and import correctly. Okay, let's get started. After you've installed AP Game Tools, you can find it in the 3D Viewport context menu by pressing N or by pressing this little arrow. You have different sets of tools available to you, and you can drag them in whatever order you want. I like Export on the bottom, so I'll drag this back. There are currently five tabs. Organizing Tools, Material Tools, Decimate Tools, UV Tools, and Export Tools. You can expand or close them as you need them. Okay, let's talk about Organizing Tools. The Clear Parent button clears the parent of the selected objects. Sometimes, models have unnecessary parents and empties that make it hard to navigate in the outliner. Also, in order to export correctly, your models cannot have any parents, so this tool takes all the selected objects, clears their parents, and keeps their transform. The next button is Delete All Empties. This button will delete every empty object in your scene, so make sure you don't need any of them before you use this feature. You can of course manually delete them other ways if you need to. Under Material Tools, we have a few options. Rename by Material will take the object and rename it by the material. Let's go ahead and do that so we can visually see what objects share the same material. We can see that there are only a few materials. In Game Engine, it's usually good practice to have only as many meshes as there are materials. That's the point of this button, Join by Material. If we click on it, it will take all the selected objects that share the same material and join them. We went from about 100 objects to 5 in just a few clicks. This will help you out a lot when you go to Unity or Unreal. You can use the Rename by Material button again if you want to rename these objects. After you've joined objects, your origin may not be where you want it. The most common place to put your origin now is the center of your geometry. That's what the Set Origin to Geometry button does. You can see here that it scales from a random place, but if we set our origin to geometry, now it scales uniformly. Next up, we have Decimate Tools. Remove Doubles removes any duplicate vertices in your scene. Sometimes on import, you'll end up with twice as many vertices as you need, with literally double the vertices sitting right on top of each other. Pressing this button removes those. I've seen over 500,000 vertices be deleted before with no visual change to the scene. But also, don't be surprised if zero vertices are deleted. To see how many vertices are deleted, you have to open up the console. A word of caution though, Save a copy of your blend file before you use this option, because if you get unwanted results, pressing Ctrl-Z might make Blender crash. Especially with really high poly models or sculpted models, you might not want to use this feature, but test it out and let me know what you think. Decimate by 5% adds a decimate modifier set to collapse at 0.95 every time you press it. You can use this in many different ways. One way is to add one decimate modifier to all your objects in your scene, then individually tweak the setting you want. Another way is to continue to add decimate modifiers to your objects until you get the ideal poly count. You can see here that I went from 1.5 million verts to 900,000 in just 5 clicks. If you have any objects you don't want to decimate, you can select them and just press Remove Decimate Modifiers. Or if you want to start over, you can select all your objects and remove modifiers. Next up we have UV Tools. Remove all unused UVs deletes all unused UV maps. Extra UV maps can cause issues in other programs like Unity and Unreal. If you want to create your light maps in Blender, you can use the Create Light Map UVs, which will make a new UV map and use a light map pack feature in Blender all in one step. Export for Game Engine exports the selected models as GLB files with their current location data in the file path where you saved your Blender file. You have to have your blend file saved before this will work. Center and Export for Game Engine exports the selected objects with their location set to 000. Unity and Unreal have different pipelines. You will need to watch the AP Game Tools pipeline specific videos for each game engine. That wraps up the overview of AP Game Tools. I hope you find this add-on useful.